AABIP video educational series. Fluoroscopy Basics Part 2 Operation of C arm components. In this example, a GE 9800 C arm will be used. This is the monitor. The monitor is plugged into the C arm as shown here. This is done before turning on the C arm. Next, turn on the C arm by pressing this button on the monitor. The screen will appear on the monitor and the C arm will look like this. Ensure that the orientation of the image is correct by selecting or deselecting the R buttons shown here. The X ray tube is located here with the collimator located above the tube. The image intensifier is here. The beam projects from the tube to the image intensifier and the images are sent back to the monitor. Moving the C-arm is done by turning the handles shown here. In this orientation, the C-arm is unlocked and it can be moved forwards and backwards. Here the handle is rotated and the wheel turns. The C-arm can now be moved left or right. To lock the C-arm in position and keep it from moving, press this foot pedal. It is now locked. The movements of the C-arm are demonstrated here. To move the C-arm tube caudad or cephalad, release this handle. The X-ray tube can then be rotated caudad and cephalad. Lock the C-arm once the desired position is found. This is an example of the C-arm tube positioned at 15 degrees caudad. To move the C-arm laterally, left or right, release the lever shown here. The C-arm is set at zero degrees. You can then move the C-arm to the desired position from zero degrees. Lock the C-arm once desired position is found. Here the C-arm is positioned at 20 degrees RAO. To move the x-ray tube up or down, press this button. It is always desirable to have the tube furthest from the patient as possible. To pan the C-arm cephalad to caudad, pull this lever and carefully move the C-arm caudad and cephalad as shown here. Workstation function allows you to capture the last pleuro image to use as a reference as shown here.